you doing in St. Louis? <laughs> you're not in St. Louis, Pop. You're at home. Uh, oh. Oh. Hangover? <laughs> oh. Bad? Uh. <laughs> Can I get you something for it? Please. What? A bullet. <laughs> a bullet right here. Uh, I'll, I'll fix something for you, Pop. Oh, I'll fix my own stuff. <sighs> Hey, that's not funny, Lamont. What's not funny? Uh, you back that truck over my head. <laughs> Come on, let, let me help you. Okay, just to the kitchen. All right. Are we there yet? <laughs> no, not yet. Uh, almost? Almost, Pop. Oh, Lamont. Lamont. What's the matter, Pop? I just hate to be a burden to you. Hey, would you stop talking like that? Yeah. I, I don't need you, Pop. I heard you say it out your mouth. I heard you. I heard you with my own lip. Ears. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ears. Hear with ears. Talk with lips. I'm losing my mind. You're not losing your mind, Pop. You just got a hangover. Now, come on. Yeah, and I want you to help me get rid of it. All right. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what I want you to do. Listen. Give me some tomato juice and a raw egg. Right. <laughs> Oh. Tomato juice and a roy. Yeah. This is what she's doing. This is some bitch and some sauce. And some some Damascus. Oh, son. Hey, where's my prune juice? Prune juice? Uh, I get prune juice. Oh, uh, salt and pepper. Oh. Uh, uh, here you go. Son, help me. Help me over there so I can get to the vodka. The vodka? <laughs> yeah. I just need a smidge in the vodka. No, I need just enough to wake up the flavor. Well, what do you call that? A bloody mess. <laughs> Now, would you mind telling me what you heard that made you so upset? I didn't need Pop. I didn't miss Pop. I heard you now. Don't deny it. I won't, Pop. Look, Grady overheard us talking, and, and, and he heard me telling you that I don't need him around here. He heard me say that, and so to keep from hurting his feelings, I lied to him and told him that he was just as important around here as you are. And that's the truth, Pop. Well, how do I know you're not lying to me about lying to him about lying to me? <laughs> Say that again? I can't. <laughs> Look, Pop, I need you here. Now, please, just believe me. Why should I? Because I'm your son. <laughs> I am your son, aren't I? Of course, of course, of course you're my son. Why else would you be right here 32 years free? <laughs> Look, all I was trying to do was make Grady feel good, Pop. And if that was wrong, then it's not my fault. It's your fault, because you always told me that I should be concerned about other people's feelings. And you gave me warmth and sensitivity. But if I gave you all that stuff, I ain't got nothing left for myself. <laughs> so you believe me, Pop? I believe you. Hey, thanks a lot. And I'm sorry that I ruined the party last night, son. Hey, that's OK, Pop. But in the future, when Aunt Esther and your friends come over here, just try and be a little more understanding. I will. And a little kinder. I sure will. What does that stuff taste like? What does it taste like? <laughs> Did you ever taste casserole? And clapper and spoiled pig snoots. Uh, mix that all together and spray it with rain and throw in some of Grady's socks uh, and ain't Esther's face. That's what it tastes like. But son, my headache's gone to my stomach. Querido, tú bien, señor Sanford.
We are satisfied with that. Estamos muy satisfecho con nuestro Many people have come here. Mucha gente han comentado que nadie nunca ha visto tan that. exquisito uh, John Cobb. We've always been treated kindly. Siempre nos tratan con respeto. We are very grateful. Estamos muy apreciados por nuestro son y John. Porque nuestro hijo, hijo Juanito, no tiene miedo de agua o John. Thank you so much. Can be in a commercial, then I can be in a commercial too. Now just go ahead and roll them, Haywood, okay. and you tell them who I am. Just keep it rolling, roll. Uh, friends, I'd like you to meet somebody very close to me. This is my dog's. <laughs> Shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. You shut up. No, you shut up. I, why should I shut up? You don't tell my son to shut up. You shut up. And you shut up and stay out of it. You stay out of it. Don't shut tell up. me to stay out of it. Hold 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 it. I mean, you guys are crazy. You with your dumb trees and your wide boys camp. You with that yo-yo tie. And you with the junk Korea. How are you going to make a commercial? I don't understand what's going on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. 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 Man. Man. Ah, black, man. Three days after that commercial and not one customer yet. You seen anybody? I ain't seen nobody. Nobody, man. But then that commercial wasn't exactly the best one in the world, man. Especially when the director starts trying to swim in the pool. <laughs> Hey, you know, that's the first time we laughed together in a week, man. That's right, man. You know it feels good? I know. Hey, what should we do with the sign? Oh, man, I don't know. You keep it. I don't want it. I don't know. What do you I... want to do with it? Let's burn it. Jam it, man. Okay. Right. That's the first thing we agreed on since before the merger. Dig it. You know, it's too bad that we had to dissolve a partnership <laughs> to be friends again. I know you... You know, I think that's right what they say, man, that friends should not go into business together. That's true, man. Well, I've heard that right? a lot of times before. Dig it. My grandmother used to tell me that. Your grandmother was a little kid. Well, I see you two talking again. <laughs> oh, well. And that's the way it's gonna be from now on, right, who? That's right, man. Mm -hmm. Together. All right. Oh, I think I'm gonna get sick. <laughs> but you do make a lovely couple. Tweedly D and Tweedly Dummy. <laughs> Listen, Julio, why don't you gather up your stuff and adios? Right. Hey, uh, I hope you sort out your stuff, Julio. You don't have to help him sort out nothing. I know everything here. That brown rug over here with the stain on it, and this decorator lamp, and this chair with the back out and this stuff coming out of it, and that muffin pan. And this washboard. Now that's all. Now get your stuff and take it back where you got it from. Your bedroom. <laughs> it's a chamber pot. Of course it's a chamber pot. What do you expect a commode to have in it? A derby? That's the whole point, Pop. Now, this was an important part of the furnishings back then. It was the only sanitation system that they had. But ain't no chain. Of course there's no chain. That wasn't invented yet. The modern toilet didn't come on the scene until much later. Now, you told me yourself, Pop, that we didn't have a, a toilet until 1935. No, no, 1934, I bought one to celebrate getting a job on WPA. <laughs> Well, back in the 1800s, in the early 1800s, this is all anybody had. Everybody used these, even royalty. Kings and queens. They did? Sure. You didn't expect them to have one of them little houses with a half moon on the door in the back of Buckingham Palace, did you? No, but where did they keep them? Well, wherever they needed them. On the landing, in the bedroom. Sometimes when they had a banquet, they put it behind the screen in the dining room. I don't believe that. That's what the guy at the antique shop told me, Pop. See, he said that they wasn't so hung up about stuff like this the way we are now. Why, if a guy got caught short doing a meal, he'd run behind that screen and zip, he'd be back out there in time for the next course. Uh, he wouldn't even miss none of the conversation. That's disgusting. I mean, that's really disgusting. It is not, Pop. That's only because you're judging it by today's standards. But that's the way it was back then. I don't care how it was back then. When it's supper time, it's supper time. And when it's something else time, it's something else time. <laughs> but that's the way it was, Pop. And this is an important one, too. 
Now look here on the side. You see that on the side? That's another reason why this is so valuable. Uh, what's that? Well, that's, uh, that's the Prince of Wales' feathers. Hmm. See? See, this is his crest. Pop, I wouldn't be surprised if this didn't belong to the prince himself. You are looking at history. I am looking at a toilet. <laughs> Well, anyway, I'm going to take it into one of them fancy antique shops over in Beverly Hills. They're going to flip when they see this. And you can say you can get three or four hundred dollars for it. Hey, at least. Pop, if we could get our hands on some more stuff like this, we could retire. And see, Lamont, that's the thing that bothers me. If this thing is worth that much money, why did you only get the woman twenty dollars for it, even though it was an old, ugly white woman? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm talking about how Sanford and Sons got a reputation for paying a fair price. That's how we got a good name in this business. It's not my fault if people don't know what they're selling. I didn't do nothing wrong. Wasn't it you that told me to do unto others before they can do it unto you? <laughs> well, it's just something that is not right. I don't understand you, Pop. This ain't like you, man. I know, you feel better tomorrow morning once you sleep on it. I ain't gonna sleep on it. I ain't gonna feel better because I ain't gonna sleep on it and I ain't gonna sit on it. Fix me something to eat. I ain't in no commode business. I'm in the junk business. I was pretty cool. uh, Mr. Uh, Sanford? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Sanford, you were at my house this morning and bought a Regency commode for my wife. Is, is that right? Uh, no, no. I was the one that was at your house this morning. What about it? You paid her $20 for it, didn't you? Well, I bought something that might or might not be an antique. Uh, it, so? Well, uh, well, it is. Well, we don't know that, do we? Is there something wrong? Yes, yes, there is something wrong. I'd, I'd like to discuss it with you. Uh, may, may I come in? I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, come on in. Hey, Lamont, take this, man. I got this stuff for the sign. Oh, the sign? Yeah. Sign? What sign? For our, for our new name, man. Fuentes and Sanford. Hiya! <laughs> uh, shouldn't that be Sanford and Fuentes? <laughs> no, man. Because you see, F comes before S. And besides, Fuentes is such a beautiful name, man. I mean, Fuentes. Right, yeah. As opposed to Sanford. I mean, Fuentes means fountains. Sanford means without four. I mean, those are mean without teeth. OK, Sanford and Fuentes. That's settled, man. One name each, 50-50. Beautiful. Oh, tight. 50-50? Yeah. Uh, that's a little wrong. See, because there's two of us and there's only one of you. There should be one-thirds and two-thirds. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I got just as much junk as you got. Yeah, I, I know. I know. See, but we have... See, there's two of us. You get a whole profit to yourself. We have to split ours two ways, you dig? Yeah, you're right, man. Okay, that's fair. One-third and two-thirds. Sound. That give us the controlling vote to form a power block. And the first thing I'm gonna vote on is to power you out the block. <laughs> That's enough. Now, would you dig yourself hey, up? Hey, wait a second, Lamont. You shouldn't talk to him like that, man. If you don't mind, Julio, this is between me and my pop. Okay? Oh, yeah, I know it's between you and your father, man, but he's also my partner, man. I don't think anybody should be yelling at my partner like that, man. You, you, you tell him, Julio. <laughs> All right. Hey, come on, let's go outside and tear the fence down. Great, man. Tear the fence down? No, wait a minute. Not my fence. Not the one I built with your own two hands. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Sapper, but one business, one yard. Oh, Elizabeth. Oh, honey. Did you hear that? I'm coming, darling. I lost my son and my business in the same day. Hey, wait, that's funny. Hey, Mr. Sanford. Yeah. Oh, yeah, remember that radiator we sold yesterday? Uh huh? Yeah, we got uh, $20 for that, didn't we? Yeah, 20 big ones, two O. Yeah, well, how come in the sales record here you got it marked one O? Uh, I always do that. And I expect you to do the same. Whenever I sell something for two O, I put out one O, so that means the tax man gets zero. Bye, <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, Fred. That's really great. You know, partner, Fred, uh, call was... me Mr. Sanford. Oh. Okay, Mr. Sanford, I was thinking, you remind me a little of my father, you know that? Yeah, he had a good head for business, man. I mean, he knew how to wheel and deal. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he really had it on the ball, man. Just like you, Mr. Sappho. Uh, call me Fred. <laughs> oh, I'll get it. Fred. Julio Fuentes, big time tycoon. Sam and Fuentes. Oh, yeah, yeah, Channel 14, right. 
Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's right. I talked to you before. Yeah. Okay, we'll have it for you by next week. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Who is that, who? Hey, man, that was a TV station, Channel 14, man. They said that it's going to cost us $90 to put a commercial on the late movie. Hey, beautiful. Hey, we can yeah, handle yeah. that, can't we, Pop? Sure we can. Don't cost us but 45 bucks. Hey, 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 wait, 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 man. You got two-thirds interest, right? So that means two of you got to pay $60, I pay $30. That's two-thirds, right? Oh, no, no, you got that wrong. See, that's when you're sharing the profits. See? <laughs> The expenses are different. Well, I'm, how do you figure that? Man? It's just business mathematics. It's the law of the of the triangle. The law of the triangle. Yeah, I'll explain that to you. See, uh, you have one piece over here, and we have two pieces. See, we put our two pieces together, and it comes to a point. So shove that point in your ear. <laughs> Pop, would you stop fooling around when we're trying to hey. do business here? Oh, man, he didn't mean nothing by it. And I told you, man, don't say nasty words to my partner, man. And I told you that he's my pop first and your partner second. Hey, Lamont, listen, man, we can't get into this way, man. The business is not going to I know about the business. I've been in this business for 32 years. I know. Fellas, listen to me. Let's settle this thing calmly, like gentlemen. Son, punch him in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs>